Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for Sunday the 2nd of May 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. And remember, my readings can last a few days longer than when they're released. Okay, let's pull an angel card. This is the angel answer deck and see what we get. Okay, that card just turned over, so let's go with it. Two cards, three cards, okay. <laughs> I've got recovery. Um, listen to your intuition. You're being guided, you know. This is kind of like an energy of soul alignment here. And we have, there's something better. It feels like recovery is coming after some kind of letdown or disappointment is what I'm getting. And your instinct knows best, you know. There's definitely an energy of your instinct that knows best. So let's see what we get, what we get for the day. So what is the message, please, angel spirits, guys? What's the message that people need to hear the most? <clears throat> and it will be for Sunday, the 2nd of May, 2021. What do we have for Sunday, the 2nd of May, 2021, please? Okay. Message for all signs, thank you. Message for all signs. Flew out again. It looks, um, it's interesting. It kind of came out a little bit uh, on its side, so I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, we have the death card. The chariot. Two major arcana there. So the Page of Cups, yeah. <laughs> mm. The Ace of Pentacles. Look at this, the Ace of Pentacles here. And we have Recovery Energy, the Four of Swords. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, oh my goodness, look. Ten of Pentacles. I love this energy. You know, I, I, it feels a little bit more money in Korea. I mean, Germany, the Eight of Pentacles, it has a more commercial angle to it. But, you know, I could easily read this in terms of love as well. But it, it definitely feels more money in Korea here. Um, Page of Cups can be about messages from, you know, listening to your intuition in the upright position. It's kind of like this energy of someone's not listening or someone's doubting that it feels like there's a doubting energy here that an opportunity is going to be presented. You know, the Ace of Pentacles, it, it can be a card of money, career, financial opportunity. It can be somebody giving you a, a, gi a gift, um, you know, because you're given this by the hand of God, the divine, the universe. Um, good news in terms of loans, good news on getting some money coming your way, um, that kind of beneficiary energy. It can be to do with, like I said, uh, job offers, business offers. Um, so, it, you know, it, it can be this kind of energy, but it's the beginnings of abundance. It's the beginnings of abundance. And it comes after an ending. Uh, death card is an ending that you have been working so hard to deal with. It feels something happened here because this is a new beginning energy here, which is beautiful. Love the Ace of Pentacles because it represents something that you can touch, something that makes a difference in your physical reality. And it definitely feels to do with money, career, finances. Um, you might have been learning new skills you might have been adding to your skills um this can be about pre apprenticeships internships as well um but it, it feels also that you might have been learning uh, i mean it can be about uh, furthering yourself in terms of education or professional qualifications here um it's a card of hard work the eight of pentacles but it's the hard work is bringing material gain into your life 
and after some kind of ending you're working really hard and it feels to bring this material gain into your life but someone's doubting it feels like groundhog day it feels like you know i'm just going round and round in circles i'm working so hard here and you know and it's because something's ended i mean there could have been job losses or you know a business ending or um some deep change in your financial circumstances and there's definitely an energy of your hard work is allowing you to emerge from one phase of your life to another uh, the death card is an energy of out with the old in with the new and we know that the new is coming and it's as, it's as a result of hard work so this isn't in vain I love the energy of the Four of Swords because, you know, the message is don't work, don't work so hard that you're exhausted. Um, make sure you take time out for you as well because this can be about stepping back, having a, 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 a moment to, you know, uh, gain perspective or to recover your energy, your, your mental acuity, you know, all of this kind of thing that we need sometimes when we're working exceptionally hard. So it definitely feels in this energy. I mean, this definitely represents recovery here, but I'm also getting the energy of somebody's working hard. And there's a kind of message that, you know, you're being watched over on this journey. Uh, whatever disappointment or ending or whatever this was that you've been definitely working hard to deal with, you're gonna win. You're gonna be victorious. There is a card of success here. And the chariot overcomes a challenge. It has been a challenging journey um, and it's a journey that's affected your internal energy as well as your external environment you know um, and there's de this is definitely a card of winning um, winning on that difficult journey so this is eyes on the prize to victory and success taking the reins of your life and charging forward and there may well be some progress here because the charity generally moves towards a specific goal. And the goal, it feel, feels for me, is to do with the Ten of Pentacles, more money. Um, financial stability, financial security, the hard work paying off. It feels very beautiful. This is a card of wealth. You know, I will also say the wealth and value that goes with this card, because it associates with family and home, it, it feels in this situation that on this journey, you've learnt the value of people in your life. Um, certainly maybe family in particular, you know, on how they are supporting you, helping you on this journey, helping you on this victory of winning through. But it definitely feels like it's felt like Groundhog Day, but it feels in this situation, there is a win at the end of this journey and recovery so whatever disappointment you've had whatever this there's something better it feels for some of you there is just keep doing what you're doing and you're going to get noticed you're going to get recognized yeah i really like the energy here so don't doubt that you are being given help by the universe why am i saying that because We've got the helping hand card here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it feels very, very beautiful indeed. So I'm going to pull a final card. Page of Cups for me as a reader is generally an energy of things are about to look up as well. When you're doubting it because it can be in the reverse of the card when it's kind of coming out more on its side um it, it feels like it's tying in with both energies of that card so it, it definitely is that things are about to look up possibly unexpectedly um but there is definitely an energy of someone's doubting that the message is no it is making a difference the work that you're doing the steps that you've taken And the first card out we have is trust. Look, we have the ghost deer watching over the other deer. Isn't that beautiful? 
So we have dear trust, approach the situation with a light heart. Yeah, antelope new pathways. Consider whether you are on the you are happy on your current path. Monkey in a child, don't take life too seriously. That comes back to just make sure you take a break as well. And we have bear, you are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. Isn't that lovely? So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.